Hi friends, welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I think I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And to everybody else that has subscribed, as always, I thank you. I appreciate all your support. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, audio in Dar Studio together with uh, face motion. And I posted a video some time back, this clip right here. And I'll share the video in the... Bring me the ore. I'll share the video in the link below so you can check it out. But I wanted to show the how audio works in da studio someone had asked me you know how do we add audio in da studio and it's not kind of it's not straightforward because you, you don't even see it on the timeline so i wanted to share some insight and thoughts about that so we're going to be using this uh, video as a reference as a case study and uh this is uh, the idea is based on this uh tom cruise movie the mummy with that crazy looking <laughs> character that had like two <laughs> eyeballs seemed like a small one and, and a big one and so today we're going to be using that as our case study and this model is available on the DAS 3d marketplace and it's going to be our case study today so the idea again too is to show how audio works together with our face motion and so the first step is uh when you record your mock-up you know in using the face cap ios app you're going to receive three files one is going to be the video of yourself you know for this case this is my wife who, uh, who voice acted this uh, character and you're also going to get the fbx file right so that fbx file has the data that has the facial animation and the third file is going to be the wave file you know so I did three takes of this character. One, we uh, the idea was to have a servant, but uh, due to time, we weren't able to include that. So I took, I'm gonna use this one. Uh, it's Tukamuna. <laughs> I had to come up with a cool name that sounds great when you're doing the voice acting. So my wife played that part. She played it really, really well. And I'm, I, I appreciate the awesome support that she gave me. So we're gonna import the mockup file first, the facial animation and then we'll talk about the audio so go to file import and then let me go back up here it's gonna be to kamuna number two open that okay and so it's gonna come in as a group scale file this is the file that you actually need okay select your character and then i'm gonna use uh, face motion and it's gonna be under my scripts and i'm gonna double click on face motion and i want to have some shoulder movement so i'll and i've made it possible i've not disabled head influence so this, these are the initial settings that i'm gonna work with then click uh, fa transfer facial data and rotation make sure you're on the first frame on the first keyframe and click transfer facial data and rotation And depending again on how fast your computer is, you're gonna see the difference. So that was pretty quick, okay? And so if I zoom out and bring up the timeline and we play back. Bring me the Zephant Kamuna and you'll be rewarded with the riches and told. So this is my voice, me speaking, but what if you wanted to hear the voice inside of that studio, you know, so that you get a chance to review before you actually render? Because ultimately you want to be able to render a sequence of images and then send them to your editing program. But sometimes you may want to preview, you know, just in real time so that if there's anything that you need to adjust, you know, emotion wise, the smile or the anger, then you can do it here with the uh, audio in the scene so that you can hear it and also see it at the same time and make that ad those adjustments. Now, on the timeline by default, and I think this is going to change in the future, but right now on the timeline, there's no track for audio yet. You know, so I know Dada Studio is going to change this, but for now, for those of you, if you're really trying to add audio to your anim animation, there's no straightforward way yet. 
I'm, I'm saying yet because I know something it's going to be updated at some point. So what I do is um, I go to edit up at the top and then click on audio. Now remember I mentioned that when you do your when you do your facial animation with the iOS uh, the face cap iOS app, you're going to be given three files. So one of them is going to be an audio file. So click on audio here. It's going to be under edit audio. Click on that and then go uh, browse to the folder where that file is. And it's, uh, make sure you, you select the same number. It's important to name these files, you know, specifically. It's, much, it's, it's going to be much easier for you to find them and utilize them. So we have to Kamuna number two. Open that one. And by nature, when you first uh, do the facial mockup with the, the that iOS app, if you need to offset it by about five frames. So for some reason, it doesn't line up properly if you don't do that. But if you want it to be synced properly, and these are adjustments you can make afterwards. But by default, I'm going to put a five because it's going to ask you where do you want the audio to start? What frame would you like to start? And I'm going to do uh, start on audio on number five, frame five. And you can also play it so you can hear it. And you can, do you hear that guys? Okay, so let me go ahead and press accept. First of all, bring me the orb of Zephyr to Kamuna. Right, so I notice it's and you it's will playing. be rewarded with riches untold. But there's no stop button, <laughs> so let me first clear it. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I think this, yeah, this interface still needs some help. That probably, if you want to play, there should be like a stop button, you know, replay or something like that. But right now, it's just play. So I'm going to reload this uh, file to come on number two. I'm not going to play, play. At least I just give you a, a, an idea of what it sounds like that you can hear it. All right. And offset it by five frames and click accept and make sure you select automatically adjust animation range because you want all those uh, that data to be on on the entire timeline. Uh, so click accept. All right. So let me actually put on my hit here real quick all right so we're gonna go ahead and play back so the audio has actually been added so if you press play and you can hear the clapper bring me the orb of Zephyr to Kamuna and you will be rewarded with riches untold so there you have it guys, audio in the studio on your facial animation so you can actually hear it and play it back and review so that you can make changes. So let me go back again and that clapper, that clapper you had is to give you an idea of when the, it starts when you press record. So bring me the orb of Zephyr to Kamuna and you will be rewarded with riches untold. So there it is we have audio in da studio so for everybody else that has been asking about you know how do you add audio is it possible to even have audio in da studio yes the answer is a definite yes you can have audio in da studio and you can use it to review your animation and make changes so you could use the, the face controls for example to make adjustments to the mouth the eyes and whatever and then come back here and just uh, play back Play it back so you can see the character in real time. Hear it. Bring me the orb of Zephyr to Kamuna, and you will be rewarded with riches untold. There we go. So, but you notice that when it's playing back, it knocks the character down to a lower subdivision. So eventually, I mean, when you're rendering, it won't look like the way it's playing back. It will look like this. So that, that was a quick tutorial and also a quick insight. Uh, to share with you guys how to add audio in da studio and at some point i'm hoping that they add it here on the timeline so you can actually see the waveform and also be able to move it around but for now uh, um, if you guys know <laughs> where this actually track is because right now it's hidden and maybe there is a way to expose that uh, you know information that we can edit because it would be nice to actually slide it back and forth but ultimately, so now when you're ready to render, you simply go to your render settings 
So if you want to hear the audio, so maybe you want to do like a preview. Now the cool thing is that with the, the filament render engine, you can get a, a list two, two seconds per frame. So you could do like a, a quick preview of how this animation looks together with the audio. But in order to do that, you have to select instead of a PNG over here, it, if you select that, it's not going to work. So you have to go up at the top over here instead of image series make sure you select movie in your and then in your uh, render settings and then select the range and you can do an avi that's right now that's the only format that is available i was hoping it would have like mp4 uh, but i think i think the idea again is to have an uncompressed version that you can then take to your editing program and then compress afterwards you know when you're maybe you're uploading for youtube so that is the way you can t do a preview listen to it i just make any changes that you want but the cool thing is that with the new um DAS studio 4.14 pro you have filament render engine that you can that helps you to preview this animation so you could do like multiple takes for example different cameras so i have this camera here you could have another camera that's at a different you know shot for example so render it out with a filament and then get a preview. Uh, this is great for previews. You know, if you're working on kind of a short film, or you're trying to give your art director an idea of what you, the idea that you have in mind. So, guys, if you're like uh, an indie filmmaker and a storyteller, and you want to share, you know, a quick idea, a quick story, sci-fi story, this is a cool way to do it with audio in the studio. So, thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you are alerted when I post a new video and uh, dare to dream big. Don't ever give up on your dream, guys. And let's take advantage of these tools to tell our stories. Stay safe. Bye for now.